I feel like if a woman is staying home and your man is providing when he comes home, he has been at the office with a bunch of girls that are dressed like this. He shouldn't come home. Women are, I might get canceled for this, uh. <gasps> but you need to take care of yourself and you need to give him something to come home to that he's excited and proud of. Cause think about it. Your man is, and I'm saying this because I've been in corporate with a bunch of men and I've been at that table with those men who are cheating, who are unhappy. And the simplest thing, it's so, it's not that hard. If you don't know how to do your makeup, look on YouTube. <laughs> if your man is making money, you have the budget. Like you can do this. Um, so like everything, it would be clean. Even if the house was a mess all day, he wouldn't know it. <laughs> he would come <laughs> home and that place was clean. Um, even if I was a mess all day, I would look like a little supermodel when he came home dinner would be on the table my son would go to sleep you know he would he, we would do like bedtime activities and he would still be like a present father and then afterwards was like our time so yeah i i definitely like loved that period of time and i still have that in me even if i work like i still want to like take care of my man yeah but if you're not taking care of me I don't want anything to do with you. I'll do it on my own. Yeah. So I think that's where I'm probably a little confusing for a lot of men because I've had to do so much on my own. If you're not very masculine, like you're, you're not impressive to me. Right. <laughs> the, the reason I'm at, I like that. The reason I'm asking is because, and I was watching this, I think you even sent it to me. It was like a divorce lawyer. And she's saying the reason so many couples get divorced is because a man thinks I provide financially and yeah. that's it. That's my role. I just bring in the money and that's it. Truth of the matter is, there's a lot more to it, especially yeah. when you have kids. It's not just I bring in the paycheck, I come home, and I can crack, crack open a beer and just watch TV, and yeah. that's it, because I had eight hours of uh, a difficult day. I respect that, and I get that. But you even said it earlier, as a mom, you, you're 24-7. So there has to be more, I feel like, as a man, that than just bringing in the money. Yeah. Unless, I mean, it, 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 depending on the dynamics, I get that, but... There, there's something missing because a lot of women will say, a lot of married women will say, <laughs> Ooh, I got well, something. bringing in the money is <laughs> not oh, enough. I need to, when you come home, you need to help me out with something. The yeah. kids, you know, like, uh, or whatever it is, or, or helping me clean or doing something or cooking. So where is the, the balance? Where is the healthy medium? But it's also, it also comes down to what you were saying, the woman's job in this case, to provide that environment for when the man yes. comes in to want to be a part of the family and help 100%. out. And not just sit back and crack open a beer and be like, yeah. fuck this bitch. I already had to deal with uh, <laughs> 10 other ones at work. The last thing I want to do is deal with this one. <gasps> exactly. So it comes down to her where she's like, you know what? My job as the partner mm -hmm. and as a mother and as the, the wife, whatever, is, well, I want to hold on the fort because if my man's going to take care of me, and yeah. put this over my head i gotta make sure i take care of my men and yeah. that starts with taking care of yourself yes true, 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 true. but i feel like a lot of women i i got a front row seat to what goes on in corporate like i worked for a two billion dollar company and i was probably one of three women in my position and most of the men were 50s so they were going yeah. through their divorces they were going through the custody cases um they were cheating, yeah. you know, and like I was the one who had to kind of look the other way, but I was taking some mental notes that entire time. And I don't think a lot of women understand. They're like, oh, my job's 24 seven. How hard could your job be? Um, if mm. you are a successful man making a certain amount of money, like if you want to be with a man that is a successful man in the top percentile, you need to understand that man's day is probably he's probably a second away from having a stroke or a mental breakdown all day long. Mm -hmm. So then when he comes home to you, why do you think so many men don't come home? I also used to be a bartender when I was in college and I would see so many businessmen, they wouldn't go home to their wives. They would come see me because I was like, hi, here's your drink. How was your day? Yeah, even though, tip. Yeah, tip. even though I didn't give a shit about their day and I thought they were gross and annoying, I would sit there and be like, oh, you want blue cheese stuffed olives? You're so <laughs> cute. Here you go. Okay, bye. And then they would go home or probably go out with their girlfriend and do their thing. But I think men need that environment where they come home and it's peaceful and 
they can breathe. And yeah, then I agree. That is true. The last thing you want to do is when you get home from work, like the first thing getting yelled at, oh do this, do that, do that. Like it's or mm-hmm. nothing gets done. Yeah. You come yeah. home and it's like it's a fucking bomb exploder. Like, what the That's fuck so you do all stressful. day? Oh, I have the kid. I'm like, all right, but I've I've been at work too. Yeah, you're this roof over here. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. But I also think too, I wish like there would be more like role reversal things, situations in life because I've done both and being a stay at home mom. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Like there are nights, especially when they go through like little sleep regressions, which means that they don't sleep. Uh And that means you don't sleep. And my (laughs) favorite thing is, oh, just do laundry when the the baby's napping. Like, I'm fucking exhausted. The last thing I want to do is do laundry. (laughs) Um, But, you know, you work smarter, not harder. I would just let everything go to shit all day. And then before he would come home, I'd be like, all right, I have an hour. Boom, I'm getting this place together because that's really all that matters. The (laughs) baby doesn't care if the place is a mess. You keep it clean all day, a little bit, and then you just, you know, make it look pretty when they get there. You don't have to slave all day and keep it clean. I like the point that you made. It's like you, you as a partner, you have to put yourself in the other person's position. Being a stay at home mom is, 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 or being a stay at home parent is very difficult, right? Yeah. It's, it's so much work, so much responsibility. But on the other uh, aspect, being the sole breadwinner is also a lot of responsibility. Yeah. So a lot of women need to understand if my man is working all day, bringing in money, uh, having so many responsibilities and things to have to deal with, that's a, that's a big job. And yeah. vice versa, as a father, as a man, you have to say, listen, my woman has a big responsibility at home, raising our children, raising our kid, making sure the house is in order. That's a lot of responsibility too. Yeah. If they could switch days for one day or for I a week, know. They would appreciate each other so much more. No, but it's also it also comes out to because let's say you as a man comes home, right? Yeah. And then you get to your wife and then, you know, the the kid's good, but then the house is a mess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's almost like, yo, like you could also work if you wanted to. Like, don't tell me that you have the kid and you don't have enough like time in your hands to clean the house because this is this is what you prefer. Yeah. Like, you want to yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want to take care of the child. Yeah, 100%. You want to take care of the crib. Make sure it's taken care of when I get here then, because if yeah. not work. And we'll yeah. get a nanny who can yeah. do everything because exactly. they'll get paid for it. You ain't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's almost that as well. Like if you're going to have that, you understand that that's also the, that's part of the role that you're choosing. So if you want to be the stay at home mom, you want to take care of the child, you better take care of the crib too. Yeah. Go all the way. Yeah. But, but if you give them the opportunity, you would rather work or you rather stay at home. I guarantee you 99% of the time they would say, oh, I'd rather stay at home. Okay. So, so then, then make sure that stay, everything exactly. is, yeah. that's it, my point. It, it's, you can't pick and choose. Oh yeah. I'll stay at home and raise the yeah, kid or yeah. whatever, but it'll be messy when you come home. I need to do this, this, and that. And no, don't I, complain your man doesn't make enough money. That drives me crazy when a man is working so hard for his family and then the <laughs> girl stays home and she's like, oh, he doesn't make enough money. Go find a rich guy. Like you had a kid with him when yeah. you made this. That, I'm sorry, I feel like that's so insulting.